Greetings, everyone. I'm here at the Penn Museum, where we'll get to look at all kinds of ancient, ancient, ancient stuff. Of course, of course, this is the Sphinx in, in, from Egypt. I'm Dan, and that's that. Everyone, we're here at the Sphinx Gallery. It's where it's where it's, it contains all kinds of Egyptian items, like uh, this Neanderthal head for reconstruction. Everyone, we're now here at the ancient Egyptian exhibit. It's where it contains all sorts of artifacts. Uh, artifacts. Thanks, Mom. Okay. And barium and tombs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now you may notice that this is ancient jewelry, and it says here. B B C. What B C? B C means stands for before comedy. And right behind me is this model of the throne room of Merenta. That's where the king used to live. Archaeology is the work of archaeologists to help us to understand more about the past. The Penn Museum has been actively involved in archaeological research in Egypt for more than a century, and our work continues today. In this room, you can learn about important archaeological discoveries made a century ago, and also about a recent fieldwork that has led to exciting new information. There is always more to be found in the sands of Egypt. This is the statue of Sa'fi. It was painted in sandstone. In 1478. And this is the timeline of ancient Egypt. It tells the historical facts about it, including 5000 BC. That's a long time ago. Welcome to the Asia exhibit, everyone. It's where we get to see all kinds of Asian stuff around here. Like this. Uh, Make Terra statue. It was it was made in bronze gold. These are the statues of the camels. They are came from they are from the Middle East. Some camels have one hump, whereas others have two. I think this looks like a that can look like a dog. But this is called a alter art. It's just like a, a lion. Or I know. We're now here at the Eastern Mediterranean Gallery. Where it contains stuff from Italy, Greece, etc., etc. Everyone, did you know that how, that how writing started? Let me tell you how it began. 5,000 years ago, in Mesopotamia, the people used used clay tablets to write all kinds of things. Their writing was very different from ours, but it worked just fine for them. Today, we have paper to write. We're now here at the Roman Empire exhibit. It's where we are about all kinds of cultures and people. This is the model of the Roman house. Everyone, this is a map of, of Europe. In, 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 uh, 
but in the style of the Roman Empire, AD 117. That's why we call it the oldest world on Earth. We're now here at the exhibit of Etruscan Italy. In Etruscan Italy. It's where we learn about the earliest Italians, just like me. I'm here at the Greek religion exhibit. It's where we get to learn about all kinds of Greek cultures, including the Olympics. This is a map of the, 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 of the ancient Europe. Uh, it's each button, it, it has buttons. We each press one that glows. How about this? There you go. Yep. We're now here at the exhibit of the ancient food and flavor. Where it's where we get to learn all kinds of delicious and yummy foods. I'd, I'd like to review this timeline of the food and flavor at the time. These flat breads were made in 12,000 BC. The, the earliest uh, evidence of ceramic pots were found in China. The rice domestication begins in, in China in uh, 670 BCE, the earliest maize found in Mexico. It spreads south in centuries. It's called corn. The first evidence of domestic potatoes were found in China, Canyon, Peru, 8,000 BC. The Neolithic people start growing wheat and barley crops in Anatolia and Western Eastern Asia. In 4,000 BC, evidence for goat Herding in Europe thousands of years after they were found in Mexico, Iraq, and Iran. In 3000 BC, domestic grapes grown in early France and aged Jordan and Israel. 5000 BC, first evidence for cheese in Western Europe. 4000 BC, genetic studies reveal evidence of marine lima beans. East these genes were found in Pekinemic thousands of years later, 3000 BCE. Wild apple trees are trended in the fruit forests of Central Asia, 25,000 BC. First mollusks appear in Peru, 15,000 BCE. India and Indonesian sailors established spice trade routes spreading cinnamon, mace, nutmeg, peppercorn, and more. 5000 BC, coffee cultivation began in Ethiopia and quickly spreads to Yemen and beyond. Last but not least, 100 BCE, first mention of tea in China. 6th century CE, Silvium, one of the most important spices of the Roman Empire, goes extinct. I'm dead, and that's that. This is the mission 1564 plane. Uh, it's, it's right over there, right here. We used to use it during the wars. Everyone, this is a totem pole. It is. It has five carvings on them. One, two, three, four, five, and it looks. Looks like just like a skyscraper.